Hey guys, Justin here again from Simplified Investing. In this video, what I really wanted to do is kind of walk through, for those of you that are beginners, walk through how you would get started into getting trading, how to formulate a plan to start consistently making $100 a day, and what I would personally recommend to those of you that are looking to start trading. Before I get started, if you could like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. If you could check out our team at simplifiedinvesting.site, we would love to have you guys join our team and take our course and get our alerts to take your trading to the next level. So I guess the first thing that I would say before you even get started, you have to think of which broker do you want to use. Traditionally, the two that are most common are going to be Robinhood and Thinkorswim. Robinhood, very good for beginners. The user interface is very friendly. It is commission free for options trading, which we do. And then you got Thinkorswim, which is going to be a lot more advanced. That is going to be this platform that you see in the back. You can see level two, you can see candles, you can do charting and things like that. And this is really for those of you that are looking to take your trading to the next level. That is really going to be what Thinkorswim is for. For those of you that are moving on from Robinhood, the downside to Thinkorswim is that you do have a 65 cent per contract commission. As you <clears throat> continuously trade through them and build up your account, you can get that reduced. Mine is currently 35 cents a contract, so you can get that reduced as you, as you trade more and more with them. So once you get that funded and you get that started, that's really going to be your first step. Whether you want to use Robinhood for its simplicity or if you really want to dive deep and take on Thinkorswim, which is going to be a far superior platform, that is totally up to you to get started. The second thing that you want to do is study and learn. It's not going to be something that you are going to learn with overnight. What I tell people is if it takes a doctor eight years to become a doctor at the earliest, why should it take you two days to learn how to trade? That's not true, and that's why a majority of people do fail from trading. Personally, it took me two years to become profitable, and I blew up several accounts before actually becoming profitable. And that's really what separates those losing traders from those that actually do become successful and move on from it. You do blow up accounts. You will lose money when you start, and that's really where you are going to learn from it. I'm not here to tell you, hey, you just do this, and you'll be profitable. You'll join, or you'll do this, and boom, you're going to be profitable within a week. It's very unlikely you will face a steep learning curve, and that's really why I created a team on a side note to help people combat this learning curve and take their trading to the next level. So going back to the account, if you want Thinkorswim, just simply go to Thinkorswim here, download. This is going to be through TD Ameritrade, so you go to download Thinkorswim here, or Robinhood is, Robinhood primarily is going to be on your uh, mobile phone, on your devices, or you can sign up online here. However, the mobile app is going to be very friendly for Robinhood. So now going forward with studying and learning, again, there's so many resources out there that are so useful. You can have books, you can have YouTube, and you can have paper trading. One thing that I tell people when they're first starting, the most learning and the curve where it will be the steepest is where you actually start trading your account. Paper trading is very good, don't get me wrong, but it completely eliminates the emotions aspect out of trading, which is going to be the biggest step for beginner traders to overcome. So paper trading, in my opinion, is not very helpful unless you are going to be using a strategy or something of that nature to backtest on paper trading. Until then, paper trading is going to be very difficult because you'll enter a position and you say you're down 50%, it's paper money and you won't care at that point. If it was real money, you would have emotions involved in that. YouTube is a great source as well. Again, as mentioned, there's a lot of great books. One thing that I recommend is don't overcomplicate it. Find a few things that work for you and a few things that you're interested in learning and see how those go. You don't have to be one of those people that have 85 indicators on their screen as they're, it's going to take up too much time to actually get a clear signal to enter. I keep it nice and easy, support and resistance, price action, volume, momentum, the trend, and those are some of the few that I use. I don't overcomplicate things at all. Again, when you overcomplicate things, it makes it a lot harder to see a clear trend or a clear move as you'll have contradicting signals from all your different indicators. The second or the third thing that really helped me take my trading to the next level is going to be creating a trading log. 
What do I mean by this? Have a notebook or something and track how you're doing for the month. If you don't have any progress or any benchmark to keep track of, you don't know how you're going to be doing and you won't likely succeed. You need to take note of all of your trades that you had for the month. When I first started, I did this and this really helped me take my trading to the next level. So what you can do, I'll get this out of the way here. So what you guys can do is you can open a journal and then you can say, hey, on this trade, why was it a loser? Really look into and note why this is a loser. And one thing you'll find at the end of the month, and what I found is a lot of my losing uh, losing trades were due to the same thing, and it was not waiting for confirmation. That happened to be it for me. And I ended up greatly increasing my accuracy on trades from just, just by learning and reading through my previous trades. And that is going to be a big helpful thing that you can do. Another thing that you can do is cre besides creating your trade journal and your marketing your losses and things of that nature, see this button up here in the top right hand corner? This is called on demand. You can play back any single day that you want and say, hey, I found this, I found this strategy. Let's see if this works on We'll go back to June 13th, for example. You can replay all these days and backtest your strategies in real time on that day versus actually wasting capital and jumping the gun on your trading before even getting started. That is what I would recommend. Again, create a trading loss or trading journal, document your losses and your gains and see your progress for the month and then come back to it and see how you can reduce those losses and how you can let your winners run longer and cut your losses short. The fourth thing and likely probably the most important thing on here is creating a plan when you're trading. There's way too many people that get into trading that say, hey, I'm just going to enter my whole account into one position and see how it goes. And they have no plan. They don't know when to sell. They don't know when to enter. They are guaranteed to blow up their account unless they get very, very lucky, say playing a Tesla overnight call or something of that nature. You are very likely to blow up your account. What do I mean by having a plan? It's really all different for everyone that trades. You can be someone that says, hey, I'm entering this position and I'm shooting for 10% on this position. Or, hey, you can be a really heavy technical-based trader. Hey, I'm waiting for the 9 EMA to start pointing down after this entry before I take my profits. If it gaps below the middle VWAP on this five-minute candle, I can close out as a stop loss. Those are going to be two different ways. You always need to define your entry and exit. If you don't have your entry and exit before you enter, don't enter the trade. You don't know when to take profit. Today is going to be a prime example here. You guys see Boeing? You could have entered here and been like, oh, okay, awesome. I'm up 150% here. Well, then at the end of the day, look where you're at. You have no definitive target to take profit at. You get greedy on this move up and then you're stuck. Look at that. You're stuck with no profit after this drop down here. So you guys need to formulate a plan and stick to it, whether it's taking profit at 10%, whether it's technical based levels, you guys need to create a plan for your trades. And then what do you do from here? You execute your plan. So you wanna enter on a very easy entry here on Boeing, obviously not something that I personally do. I want to enter Boeing on a gap through this middle VWAP and wait till it hits the top VWAP and take profit. Boom, you enter here and you enter here. And what you can do with your plan, say your plan isn't working as well as you'd like, you can always revise this plan. It's not like it's set in stone and that's the nice thing about trading is you can learn as you go. So you enter here and it pulls back and breaks below this or you see this red candle and you get emotions. You can always wait for a five minute confirmation or something. You can always revise your plan and trade on different charts. That's really going to be the nice thing about trading. Again, you don't have a set in stone plan. I continuously revise my plan or look for something that I haven't seen before. And the market's always something that you can learn from and that's really why I enjoy teaching it and trading it as well. The last thing that I recommend, once you guys do formulate a plan, have a strategy and start making consistent profits, Here's, there's really two ways that you can go about it. You can continuously grow your account, which a lot like to do, or you can do what I do. So at the end of every week, what I typically do is wire money out for my trading account. I have a long-term account and an IRA account, and then also to my bank. I primarily wire all of my gains that I have from my trading account daily, or not daily, weekly, excuse me, to my long-term account. And really that is going to be one thing that I recommend to you guys for those of you looking to grow a long-term account or a retirement account, an IRA, 
or things of that nature, I would really look into that if that's what you're looking for. Or if you're one that says, hey, I want to grow this account over the $25,000 rule on margin so I don't have to follow the PDT rule. That is perfect as well. As long as you have a defined strategy, you have to be paying yourself through trading. You can't go through all this and learn all this and spend all this time and then not pay yourself as you see profit. And again, I mentioned two ways that you can do this. You can either grow your account or you can wire out into your bank or you can do it also to other accounts. I personally like to wire money out to my long-term account and find long-term plays. My primary holdings are going to be market ETFs. So again, guys, basically that will be six steps for you getting started and how you guys can start consistently making $100 a day. Obviously, it's not going to be something that's an overnight success, and it does take some work on refining your skills and growing as you trade. Again, it's not going to be an overnight success. It's something that takes time, and that's really the nice thing about trading is you can learn as you go every day. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are looking to get daily alerts in our course, check out simplifyinvesting.site. This will greatly supplement this by getting our alerts. By throwing this, by watching our alerts, excuse me, you can see these setups that I'm seeing in real time and you can formulate a strategy based off of what I'm seeing. The alerts are going to be twofold. You can grow your account by following the alert as well as seeing the setups that I'm seeing, which is why whether you join our community or another community, that's why alerts are going to be so beneficial to learn from experienced traders on what they are seeing and reaching out to them for help. Hey, what did you see on this setup? That's where a team is going to be most helpful for those of you that are starting. Again, if you are interested in our team, if you could check out simplifyinvesting.site, we would love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys all had an amazing day. And again, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.